Good morning. We have a lot to do today. Christmas music. Breakfast. Donations. Editing. All clean and organized for the family visit. All right, we are at Disney Springs. We brought Jackie, Sarah's godmother, and her husband, Angus. We're gonna grab some food, but with their inside sugar boo, showing her all those cute tchotchkes in there. The apartment looks so good. It looks even, we're even like, we're like 50% of the way ready for Ben and Matt to move in. So that's awesome. Got a lot of organizing done, a lot of purging of, of old, unnecessary things. So, uh, and I think this is gonna be deemed it for now. This might be my SeaWorld shirt. We're going to SeaWorld tonight. Butcher board? Yeah. Which was pork, pork, beef, chicken, brisket, and sausage with cheddar cheese in it. That was my favorite. It was so good. We got, you guys know I'm a sauce person. I got all the sauces and I did not even need them. It was it was, it's made for two, but we got it for four because we might get something else just a little. And we weren't that hungry, but it comes with two cornbreads, two slaws, and two sides. And we did the tomato watermelon and the... Like grilled corn. Grilled corn. It was all delicious. My favorite was the chicken and the, the brisket. Yeah. I want to come back DVC and just get... Discount. Yeah, they got DVC annual pass, 10% off. They're the it's same. It's nice because usually, like, this is like a quick service, but I guess... It's a fancier quick service because they service your tables and everything. Yeah. It's nice. So as you can see, I lost my pair of sunglasses yesterday, but I have them back up here. Just a darker stain. So we're uh, just walking around Disney Springs and enjoying it. It's funny, Jackie hasn't been here in like 10 years, so she's just seen no, none of Disney Springs, and a lot of the original downtown Disney has still like changed or been added on to, like the tea and spice exchange and whatnot. Um, so she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Always fun to see like brand new excitement. We're home, we're home, we're home to see the puppy just for a minute. Did you miss us? We missed you. We're gonna hang out here for like another 15, 20 minutes and then get on the road to go meet Jill. And James. Oh, and James. I keep forgetting James is coming. To do, what is it? Electric Ocean. Mm -hmm. Brought I to you by See you. Neither do I. This is the greatest girl in the whole world. Yes, it is. Look okay. how sweet she is. Take her outside? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Here we go. Sea World Left Lane. We've been welcomed by this music. Peter secretly a raver at heart. I secretly am, guys. I used to have a strobe light, a disco ball, glow stick supplies. He went to like our teen, our teen club, and Hawaiian went <laughs> bubble night. night. <laughs> oh man, the excitement is real. Look at this overlay of the Sea World Orlando Center with Electric Ocean. Jill and James are, are on their way. It's all day dining. Yeah, we're gonna try it out one of these days. Right now, what's bogus is right now, if you buy a one day admission ticket right now, for like the next three days, you get a free all day dining deal. And it's like $35. It's and not alcohol every, every hour. hour. So if we were here from today, the park opened at 9 a.m., closed at 9.30. Is that 13 meals or is that 12 meals? Either way, I'm doing it. I'm gonna blow your mind, Sarah. Previous years, they've had annual pass all day dining. Could you imagine? Look how comfy this sea line is getting. <laughs> okay. There's one hiding over here. Sea lions are my favorite animal. As of the last time we were here, I decided that it was my Patronus. They love to sleep, they love to chill, but they also like laughing and being loud and energetic. So it's like the perfect mixture of my two personalities. It really is. We know that there's like a really big one somewhere, so we're gonna try and find it. We found the big one. He's trying to find a comfy spot to, to hang out for the night. Just so you all know, this is Eve with us. 
every night when she wants to sleep on the bed. She just like flips and flops and rolls over us and all of a sudden we'll start like licking our face then be like on her back, butt in our eyeballs. That's what this little cub is doing to its mom. I'm trying so hard to get comfy. I just want to throw it out because I don't know what my spirit animal or Patrona should be just yet. But put a comment down below what would your spirit animal or for HP fans and Swishers and Swish and Flick fans, what your Patrona is. Sarah says a sea lion. Um, I feel like that too because I'm going to show you what this one's doing. I feel like that's very me. I feel like there's a difference between your spirit animal and your Patrona. You know what I mean? Like one is like your protector. And the other one is like what you embody. So maybe... I think they're one and the same. I don't know. Megan and Katie, get back to us, please. And your beliefs of the difference there. What was the sea lion doing that you thought was... It was like... <laughs> Come on, it's literally like 7.31. The doors are closed. We got Jill and James with us again. Hi! James, Jill, it's closed. I got two uh, seven on ceilings. Sarah doesn't have her ID. She probably will get two for me on her name, <laughs> but we don't have her ID. So could you get one and then get another one later? Or do you have to get two right now? Um, I'd ask them, but she marked my hand one. I wonder if I would go back and get a, a second mark. But Jill and James, because we got those annual pass, so Jill and James are in line now. They had Coors Light and Yingling. So that's cool. Jill was so upset when she thought that it was just the annual pass holder. So. I know, I was like going to look it up. Uh -huh. the website up. Secret, secret. Sometimes Peter has to break a person down. So bring him back up. <laughs> I almost cried. Fuel rod, even in SeaWorld. What do you do when you move to Florida from Chicago? You go back into somewhere that's just as cold as Chicago. We're going to do the non writer version. Well, it was questionable because the Shamu nighttime show is 8.45, it's 8.10. But we got in, as you can see, I'm in the Arctic. We're all in the Arctic. Remember we couldn't find it when we were here last night? Yeah. So, we're like four people away. We're going to see the penguins. We're skipping the ride. Sarah, this is all Sarah wanted. This is all I wanted, and it's really cold. It's like 31 or 32 degrees. Maybe it's 40, I don't know. It's that cold. You need a jacket. None of us have jackets. It smells like fish in here. Thank you. Oh, it's nighttime. Because it's nighttime in real life. That's so cool. This is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I've never felt fancier. <laughs> Jill, did you know they did this? Did they? Have you ever been in here? Look. Not at night. Uh, it's nighttime. Like it's dusk. Yeah. I didn't know they made it dusk. <gasps> oh, and they're all sleeping. I wish Eve. I could just throw Eve over there. There's a, a tapping noise is happening, and they're they're running. Dinner time.
7.30, I see giant puppets of seahorses and sea turtles. There's a jellyfish over there, a DJ in the center. And apparently this is where the fireworks are gonna be, our, our nighttime show. Maniac. <laughs> what do you think? I feel like we need to be in that pit of people. I I, which surprises me that you would want to be in that pit. Um, it surprises me that you'd want to be in that pit. Only with the sea turtle puppet. True. We'll do, we would just stalk that all night. I gotta say, I was ill impressed at first, but I agree with Sarah. Once they busted out the fire, I liked it a lot. Um, I think that's like made it set like a little special and a little different was all of the synchronized fire blowers, the flamethrowers. I didn't have like any expectations besides like fire and, many, and next time we'll get a better speaker spot because that probably did affect it a lot. Because I heard good music, I just couldn't get like the feeling in my chest, yeah. in my innards. Okay. They got some decorations going on for Electric Ocean. Oh, I'm sorry, the club Sea glow starts at 8 with the fireworks at 9 and 30. As Jill just put, we are now in the electric ocean. This is not like a special ticketed event, it's just general mission. So like us being annual pass holders now, we can just keep coming back. And this is going on through September 2nd. That is a closing park crowd. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. You okay? Casual. So now that this bench is here, it's my favorite place to sit. <laughs> That's all I had to tell the vlogger. No, we're home now. We're home. We got pretzels. We Saturday got night. Saturday night, we got ourselves in comfy clothes that are not covered in salt water. Oh my god. And we're about to go through the biggest, most emotionally <laughs> driven purge ever. We're about to go through our storage closet of our holiday stuff in our m memory boxes. Yeah. So literally like, I still have every corsage that Peter gave me at school dances in high school. Not for long. I still have, we have every receipt from every Disney vacation we've ever been on. Not for long. Persian, <laughs> Persian, Persian, all that stuff. Yeah, gotta live your life, not keep it in a box. Wow. There's so much room right here for like, <laughs> I could never do this before. Like. Talented. Talented. Eve is like. There's pretzels in the ground for you It is quarter to two in the morning in you proper Brookhart fashion. But we did so much good work. I'm real proud of this one. But I want to show you a couple things that we found. First of all, I forgot we kept this. But I've been talking about getting these clocks. Batteries dying quick. This Zippo from my old teenager pyrotechnic days. Keeping that memory. My old singular phone, flip phone, my first phone ever. And look at my Zoolander phone. This was one of my favorite phones of all time. This little singular. Look at the size of my face. Hello? Hello? 
Yeah. Hello? Quick, we're running out of time. The battery's about to die. We just talked about this the other day. These are our 7-Eleven Slurpee straws that we talked about that we thought that we already got rid of. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.